joked, and the car was filled with laughter again. As they continued their journey, they saw a man riding a bicycle with a chicken on his shoulder. Now that's what I call a co-pilot, Juan exclaimed, and they all laughed so hard they had to pull over to catch their breath. The rest of the trip was filled with more funny sightings and jokes. By the time they reached their destination, their stomachs hurt from laughing so much. It was a trip they would never forget, not because of any mishaps, but because of the endless fun and laughter they share. Imagine this, as you cross the bridge, you and your friends decide to have a mini karaoke session in the car. Pedro, the driver, starts belting out his favorite song, and soon everyone joins in. The bridge becomes your stage, and the car is filled with laughter and off-key singing. As they continued their journey and reached Kansaga Bridge, they saw a group of motorcyclists riding in formation. One of the motorcyclists had a parrot on his shoulder, and another had a sidecar filled with balloons. Now that's what I call a party on wheels! One exclaimed, and they all laughed so hard they had to pull over to catch their breath. The rest of the trip was filled with more funny sightings and jokes. Passing by shipworks on their right side, we noticed a worker waving enthusiastically at them. Maybe he's inviting us to join the shipbuilding crew. Pedro joked, and everyone laughed even more. Passing by the numerous shipyards on their right side, they admired the impressive ships being built and repaired. Although no workers waved at them this time, they still enjoyed the sight and made jokes about joining the shipbuilding crew. When they reached Tyat, Lilone, they were pleasantly surprised by how much wider the road was and how little traffic there was compared to before. This is amazing, we should travel this way more often, Pedro said. Despite being in a rush, they managed to keep the mood light and fun. They shared jokes and funny stories to keep their spirits high. The long and laugh-filled journey on Tyad Road. Juan and his friends were cruising along the newly widened Tyad Road, enjoying the smooth ride and the surprisingly light traffic. Despite being in a bit of a rush, they decided to keep the mood light and fun with a series of jokes and funny stories. Pedro, the driver, kicked things off. Hey, why don't scientists trust Adams? He asked, glancing at his friends in the rearview mirror. Why Maria asked, already giggling. Because they make up everything, Pedro replied, and the car erupted in laughter. <laughs> Not to be outdone, Juan chimed in with his own joke. Why did the scarecrow win an award? He asked, why everyone chorused? Because he was outstanding in his field. Juan said, and they all laughed even harder. As they passed by the shipyard, Maria spotted a worker carrying a large piece of metal. What do you call fake spaghetti? She asked, pointing at the worker, an impasta. Pedro answered before anyone else could, and they all burst out laughing again. The jokes kept coming as they drove along the seemingly endless road. Why did the bicycle fall over? One asked dot dot, because it was too tired. Maria answered, and the laughter continued. They were having so much fun that they barely noticed the distance they were covering. What do you call a bear with no teeth? Pedro asked. A gummy bear, Juan shouted, and they all laughed so hard they had to take a moment to catch their breath. As they neared their destination, the jokes kept the atmosphere light and cheerful. Why did the math book look sad? Maria asked. Because it had too many problems, Pedro replied, and they all chuckled. What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Juan asked, nacho cheese. Maria answered, and the car was filled with laughter <laughs> once more. Why don't skeletons fight each other? Pedro asked, they don't have the guts. One replied, and they all laughed together. Finally, as they approached their destination, Pedro asked one last joke. Why did the golfer bring two pairs of pants? In case he got a hole in one, Maria answered, and they all laughed so hard they could barely breathe. One and his friends were still cruising along the newly widened Hyatt Road, enjoying the smooth ride and the surprisingly light traffic. Despite being in a bit of a rush, they decided to keep the mood light and fun with more jokes and funny stories. Pedro, the driver, kicked things off again. Hey, why don't eggs tell jokes? He asked, glancing at his friends in the rearview mirror. Why Maria asked, already giggling, because they might crack up. Pedro replied, and the car erupted in laughter. Not to be outdone, Juan chimed in with his own joke. What do you call a fish wearing a crown? He asked, a kingfish. Maria answered before anyone else could, and they all burst out laughing again. As they passed by more shipyards, Maria spotted a tomato stand. Why did the tomato turn red? She asked, pointing at the stand. Because it saw the salad dressing, Pedro answered, and the laughter continued. 
The jokes kept coming as they drove along the seemingly endless road. What do you get when you cross a snowman with a dog? One asked, frostbite. Maria answered, and they all laughed even harder. They were having so much fun that they barely noticed the distance they were covering. Why did the golfer bring an extra pair of socks? Pedro asked. In case he got a hole in one, Juan shouted, and they all laughed so hard they had to take a moment to catch their breath. As they neared their destination, the jokes kept the atmosphere light and cheerful. What do you call a dinosaur with an extensive vocabulary? Maria asked, a thesaurus. Pedro replied, and they all chuckled. Why did the scarecrow become a successful neurosurgeon? Juan asked, because he was outstanding in his field. Maria answered, and the car was filled with laughter once more. What do you call a factory that makes good products? Pedro asked, a satisfactory. Juan replied, and they all laughed together. Pedro asked one last joke, why did the math book look so sad? Because it had too many problems, Maria answered, and they all laughed so hard they could barely breathe. Why Maria asked, already giggling? Because they might crack up, Pedro replied, and the car erupted in laughter. Not to be outdone, Juan chimed in with his own joke. What do you call a fish wearing a crown? He asked, a kingfish. Maria answered before anyone else could, and they all burst out laughing again. As they passed by more shipyards, Maria spotted a tomato stand. Why did the tomato turn red? She asked, pointing at the stand. Because it saw the salad dressing. Pedro answered, and the laughter continued. The jokes kept coming as they drove along the seemingly endless road. What do you get when you cross a snowman with a dog? One asked, frostbite. Maria answered, and they all laughed even harder. They were having so much fun that they barely noticed the distance they were covering. Why did the golfer bring an extra pair of socks? Pedro asked dot dot in case he got a hole in one. Juan shouted, and they all laughed so hard they had to take a moment to catch their breath. As they neared their destination, the jokes kept the atmosphere light and cheerful. What do you call a dinosaur with an extensive vocabulary? Maria asked, a thesaurus. Pedro replied, and they all chuckled. Why did the scarecrow become a successful neurosurgeon? Juan asked dot dot, because he was outstanding in his field. Maria answered, and the car was filled with laughter once more. What do you call a factory that makes good products? Pedro asked, a satisfactory. Juan replied, and they all laughed together. Juan and his friends were still cruising along the newly widened Hyatt Road, enjoying the smooth ride and the surprisingly light traffic. They had just passed by Sillet Bay and Catterman Bridge, heading towards the National Road in Lalone, Cebu. Despite being in a bit of a rush, they decided to keep the mood light and fun with more jokes and funny stories. Pedro, the driver, started things off again. Hey, how does NASA arrange a party? He asked, glancing at his friends in the rearview mirror. How? Maria asked, already giggling. They plan it, Pedro replied, and the car erupted in laughter. Not to be outdone, Juan chimed in with his own joke. Why did the scarecrow go on a road trip? He asked, why Maria asked? Because he heard he could finally get some new threads. Juan said, and they all burst out laughing again. As they passed by more shipyards, Maria spotted a sign for a car repair shop. Why did the car visit the doctor after the road trip? She asked, pointing at the sign. Why? Pedro asked. It had too many gastrointestinal issues. Maria answered, and the laughter continued. The jokes kept coming as they drove along the seemingly endless road. What do you call a road trip with a bunch of insects? Juan asked, a bug adventure. Maria answered, and they all laughed even harder. They were having so much fun that they barely noticed the distance they were covering. Why did the road trip crew bring a pillow? Pedro asked. Why? Juan asked. So they could rest their heads on the travel lanes. Pedro replied, and they all laughed so hard they had to take a moment to catch their breath. As they neared their destination, the jokes kept the atmosphere light and cheerful. What do you call a ghost on a road trip? Maria asked, a sheet-faced traveler. Pedro replied, and they all chuckled. Why did the road trip get a ticket? Juan asked. Why Maria asked? Because it was caught speeding in a playground zone. Juan answered, and the car was filled with laughter once more. What do you call a snail on a road trip? Pedro asked dot dot, a slow motion adventure. Maria replied, and they all laughed together. Finally, as they approached their destination, Pedro asked one last joke. 
Why did the road trip crew bring a map to the beach? Why? Juan asked. Because they wanted to make sure they didn't miss the sand, Marks. Pedro answered, and they all laughed so hard they could barely breathe. Juan and his friends finally arrived in Danao City after their long and laughter-filled journey from Cebu City. They were excited to explore the local market and buy fresh veggies, fish, and pork for their night party. As they parked the car and stepped out, Pedro said, All right, let's split up and find the best deals. Remember, we're on a mission. Maria, always the joker, replied, Mission, impossible, market edition, and everyone laughed. They headed to the Danao public market, where the bustling atmosphere and vibrant stalls greeted them. Juan spotted a vendor selling fresh fish and approached him. How much for the fish? He asked. The vendor, with a twinkle in his eye, replied, For you, my friend, it's a special price. Just don't tell anyone else. Meanwhile, Maria was haggling with a vegetable vendor. Can I get a discount if I buy more? She asked. The vendor smiled and said, Sure but only if you promise to come back and tell me how delicious your cooking is. Pedro, on the other hand, was on a mission to find the best pork. He found a stall with a friendly butcher who offered him a great deal. This pork is so fresh, it practically oinks. The butcher joked and Pedro couldn't help but laugh. With their bags full of fresh produce, fish, and pork, they regrouped and headed back to the car. We did it, mission accomplished, Juan declared. As they drove to their final destination, they couldn't stop talking about the fun they had at the market. I can't wait to cook all this up and have a great party tonight, Maria said. Pedro added, and let's not forget the jokes. We need to keep the laughter going all night. Juan and his friends were back on the road, heading towards So God, Cebu, after their fun-filled stop in Danao City. The car was packed with fresh veggies, fish, and pork for their night party, and their spirits were high. Pedro, the driver, decided to keep the laughter going. All right, let's continue with some more jokes to keep us entertained. He said, why don't we start with a classic? Maria suggested, why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? Everyone shouted in unison, and they all laughed. Juan decided to up the ante. Why did the scarecrow win an award? He asked, because he was outstanding in his field. Pedro answered, and the car erupted in laughter again. As they drove along the scenic route, they passed by beautiful landscapes and small towns. What do you call a fish that practices medicine? Maria asked, a sturgeon, Juan replied, and they all burst out laughing. The jokes kept coming as they continued their journey. Why don't skeletons fight each other? Pedro asked, dot dot, because they don't have the guts. Maria answered, and the laughter continued. They were having so much fun that they barely noticed the distance they were covering. What do you call a bear with no teeth? Juan asked. A gummy bear, Pedro shouted, and they all laughed so hard they had to take a moment to catch their breath. As they neared so God, the jokes kept the atmosphere light and cheerful. Why did the golfer bring an extra pair of socks? Maria asked dot dot, in case he got a hole in one. Pedro replied, and they all chuckled. What do you call a factory that makes good products? Juan asked, a satisfactory. Maria answered, and the car was filled with laughter once more. As the sun began to set, Juan and his friends continued their journey towards So God, Cebu. The road was long, but their spirits were high, thanks to the endless jokes and laughter. Pedro, the driver, decided to keep the mood light. All right, let's keep the jokes coming. Why don't we start with a classic? He said, why did the chicken join a band? Maria asked, why? Juan replied, because it had the drumsticks. Maria answered, and everyone burst out laughing. As they drove through the twilight, the jokes kept flowing. What do you call a cow with no legs? Pedro asked, ground beef. Juan shouted, and the car erupted in laughter again. The darkness outside didn't dampen their spirits. Why don't some couples go to the gym? Maria asked, why? Pedro asked, because some relationships don't work out. Maria replied, and they all laughed even harder. They were having so much fun that they barely noticed the distance they were covering. What do you call a fake noodle? Juan asked dot dot, an impasta. Pedro answered, and the laughter continued. As they neared their destination, the jokes kept the atmosphere light and cheerful. Why did the scarecrow become a successful neurosurgeon? Maria asked, because he was outstanding in his field. Juan replied, and they all chuckled. What do you call a bear that loves to dance? 
Pedro asked dot dot, a barracuda. Maria answered, and the car was filled with laughter once more. Finally, as they approached their destination, Pedro asked one last joke. Why did the golfer bring an extra pair of socks, in case he got a hole in one? One answered, and they all laughed so hard they could barely breathe. As the night grew darker, Juan and his friends continued their journey towards So God, Cebu. The road was long, but their spirits were high, thanks to the endless jokes and laughter. Pedro, the driver, decided to keep the mood light. All right, let's keep the jokes coming. Why don't we start with a classic? He said, why did the chicken join a band? Maria asked, why, Juan replied, because it had the drumsticks. Maria answered, and everyone burst out laughing. As they drove through the twilight, the jokes kept flowing. What do you call a cow with no legs? Pedro asked, ground beef. Juan shouted, and the car erupted in laughter again. The darkness outside didn't dampen their spirits. Why don't some couples go to the gym? Maria asked, why? Pedro asked, what do you call a bear that loves to dance? Pedro asked, dot dot, a barracuda. Maria answered, and the car was filled with laughter once more. Finally, as they approached their destination, Pedro asked one last joke. Why did the golfer bring an extra pair of socks, in case he got a hole in one? One answered, and they all laughed so hard they could barely breathe. By the time they reached So God, their spirits were high, and their stomachs hurt from laughing so much. It was a journey they would never forget, not just because of the distance or the destination, but because of the endless fun and laughter they shared along the way.